Here's a trick for getting all the Cartesian coordinates chunked out and sorted out. Start with just an image. You can get the image from Google search or anywhere you want. Then put a piece of grid paper over the top of it and resize the grid paper so that it lines up with your image. Go through and label XY coordinates for everything on your object and then create a scatter plot in Excel of it. And this is really what you're doing. You're not drawing a picture. It's not a picture, it's a graph. So there's the XY, just Cartesian coordinates of graphing this object out. And then once you get these points in here, and you can see some patterns kind of forming, especially for truss structures, once you get all these points in here, you can export these and use these in AutoCAD. Sometimes when you're getting started, this is actually the easiest way to initially map something out because you can go back and very easily change these coordinates in Excel without having to fight with all of the modification and editing tools in AutoCAD. So this is an easy way to map it out, make sure you have all the correct coordinates, and then once your coordinates are correct, then you can just copy and paste these over into CAD. Okay, so here is our graph, and we've got it all chunked out correctly, and this example is attached in the Excel sheet that's below, so you can open it up and see examples and try some out yourself. AutoCAD needs the data in terms of a number, comma, number. So we're going to use the concat function in Excel to turn those two columns of numbers into just one column with everything in the right format that CAD needs. You can either get to this from the formula tools or just type it in. <laughs> Equals concat cell quote, comma, quote and then click on the next cell so you can see what it's doing here. So instead of two columns of numbers, we just have number, comma, number, so X, comma, Y. And just right-click, copy, and then after you've copied this, you can paste these right over into AutoCAD. For the command line, you can start the point command and import all of those as just points, or start the line command and that will connect each of those dots with a line. So I typed in L-I-N-E, enter, it asks for a point, and then you say control V and paste all those points in there. And it draws it in AutoCAD just like it drew it in Excel. So here's the next little segment of lines. You wanna make sure you don't draw one segment over the top of the other. So make sure you can go point to point to point without retracing your steps because you can't tell you retraced your steps until you're trying to offset or extrude and then you figure out you have two lines and that's where you really start fighting with it. So make sure you're not overlapping anything. And there you go. Just an, maybe an easier way to get something into CAD.